Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Meaning. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Today, we're covering the importance of data types in Autodix Designer. Let's get started. So, let's start with the following question. Why do we need to pay attention to the data types? I brought two answers for this question. The first is, calculations are field type dependent. Here, in the text input tool, we have three different fields, video ID, string, and date. And right here on the results tab, when we click on metadata, we can see all data classifications that Alteryx did automatically. We have three points to discuss here. Mathematical calculations like sum are only available for fields that are marked as numeric fields. So, if we try to create a column called sum and put the video ID value plus one when we run the workflow, we can see the result it's 231 plus 1 so it worked and as we can see previously the data type of video ID is byte which is a numeric data type so what if this field was not classified as numeric Let's try that. Let's put a select tool here and manually change that to string. We already can see can see an error message right here. So when we run the workflow, we can see the error message here as well parse error a char type mismatch in operation so as we can see we cannot do math operations like some with a type string and a type numeric this kind of operation is only available for numeric fields so let's change that to the original one. The second point is string calculation like train left or right are only available for fields that are marked as string fields. Right here in this formula too, we also have a column called text, which we do a left operation by four units, four characters. And we can see the result right here. The string was data meaning, and now it's only data on the field text. This is an operation that are only available for string types so if we try to do a left operation on video ID column we also have an error message type mismatch number provided 
where a string is required. So let's undo this. Yep. So the third point is date calculations like date add are only available for fields that are marked as date time fields. Here we have a column called month where we can use the date time month expression on the field date. So here the problem is that our original classification for the date field it is a string so we need to change that manually and to do that we will use the date time tool so let's configure first option it will be a string to date time format which is exactly what we want to do here select the string field to convert this date field and the new column will be new date and the format that you've seen here it's month day and year so we have that one exactly here once we configure that we can run the workflow and now we can see that the new field named new date has a date type and right here in our formula 2 we have an expression date time month on the date column so the result of that is no because the date format it's not a date it is string as you can see right here so what we need to do is change this formula and put new date here i will also use this months field with the data type int 16. so when we run the workflow we can data we can see the months right here and here we also have a summarize tool which does the average of the UID which is this one right here so let's remove that let's put the summarize tool after the select tool and let's change the video ID type to a string we already can see can see the error in the formula which we have seen previously and here I cannot add math operations to the video ID field because it is not a numeric field so let's delete and return to the original type and the second answer that we have here is field types must match when you use the join tool so right here we have 
two data sets with two columns id and country and we have a join tool right here with this configuration join by specific fields which is id on the left source and also id in the right source when we run the workflow it works but it works only because the type of our key fields are the same so what if this field was not classified as a numeric let's see let's put the select tool here and change manually id from byte to string we already can see this error message in the join tool string fields can only be joined to other string fields so fields used as key on join tools must have the same data type in both sources so let's delete this tool and run the workflow again and we can see that the join is working so that wraps up today's video on the importance of data types in Altrix Designer. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted.